Tucked away on the south end of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, on the Atlantic Ocean, Pirate Land Family Camping Resort will provide a camping experience to treasure for years to come. Access to the on-site water park is free for all registered guests. This includes the Olympic-sized outdoor swimming pool, 510-foot Lazy River, floats provided, and the brand new pirate-themed splash pool. They provide hundreds of chase chairs among more than 18,000 square foot of sun deck. The Pirate Oasis is open seasonally. Blackbeard's Mini Golf, located near the outdoor pool area, this 18-hole mini golf course features pirate and animal figurines nestled among palms and banana trees. Open seasonally, tokens for mini golf may be purchased at the office or camp store. They have a basketball court located next to Captain's Galley. There are four half courts open for guests all year round, they also have two play areas for children, one playground next to the camp store and another playground near the indoor pool. The heated indoor pool is open year-round. Access is free for registered guests. Captain's Galley Arcade and Snack Bar is located right off of Pirate Land's Trail. The menu includes pizza, burgers, ice cream, and more. It is open during the summer and some limited hours during spring break. On Skeleton Island, guests may access paddle boards and kayaks. Pirate land boats may cruise around certain areas of Long Bay Lake. This amenity is at no additional cost. Access is based on availability and some limitations may apply. Generally, paddle boards and kayaks operate during the summer and some limited hours in the spring and fall. Only pirate land boats are allowed on the lakes. Pirate Land Family Camping Resort has a fully stocked camp store to provide you with all the essentials you and your family will need during the stay. Located next to the camp store, there is a coin-operated laundry mat and it is climate controlled. A change machine is available in the camp store and the front desk can exchange bills for quarters. The park does have gated access. There's a patrol crew on the ground 24-7. They have nine climate-controlled bathhouses located in various areas of the campground with toilets and showers. The bathhouses located in the beach area also have an outdoor shower for rinsing off the sand. There are two handicap-accessible bathhouses. They have totally remodeled six of the nine bathhouses over the past few years. A fun thing about the park is you can rent a golf cart to get around, which is great since the park is so big. You can only rent golf carts. You cannot bring your own. It is not allowed. Now, Vale's favorite thing was to go squirrel hunting. We get the dogs up early. We're gonna go get a little squirrel hunting. Come on. You wanna go squirrel hunting? You wanna go squirrel hunting? What? You wanna go squirrel hunting? Every corner the other day. It's because we're filming. Oh, I see one. Oh, oh, it's running across the road. Two of them. Two of them. Oh my goodness, they're running at us. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, good girl. Yay. Good girl. Oh. oh, there's another squirrel. The oh look. Oh, we found them all now. There, oh, there's three. There's three of them. We couldn't stay in one of these spots. Oh, no, we could not. That would be the, the death of us. <laughs> this is one of their favorite things to do here at Pirate Land, is to go squirrel hunting. Guests like to cruise around in the evening when the park is very busy in the summer and during some of the holiday weekends. Golf carts drive around the main road forming an unofficial parade. The patrol monitors the traffic, but it can be a little bit noisy 
because of the people participating and playing music. For this reason, I would recommend do not stay on the oceanfront road during busy times of the year. Pirate Land opened in July of 1996 with 75 water and electric sites and rates as low as $3 a night. They have 700 full hookup campsites. All of the campsites are equipped for RVs with full hookups including water, sewer, and electric, 30 and 50 amp. Also have cable. Most campsites are configured with the hookups at the back, so if you bring extensions, they may come in handy to help you situate your camper to maximize the usable space. All sites also have one picnic table, access to free Wi-Fi signal, and daily trash pickup also are included. Now, there are so many different options for sites and prices may vary. We were where they called the ocean side and it was 98 a night, which is on the higher end, but with all the amenities they have to offer, we felt like it was worth the price. Looking to stay in the park, but no camper? No problem. You can enjoy the nature beauty and amenities of pirate land. Their vacation rentals are permanently fixed on site. Generally during the summer, vacation rentals are for weekly stays only and rent either Saturday to Saturday or Sunday to Sunday. Off season, the rentals have two to three night minimums. If you enjoy the park so much, you can even buy a place. They have trailers on permanent sites for sale. On the beach, there's a great boardwalk. It's called the Myrtle Beach Boardwalk and Promenade. It runs 1.2 miles along the ocean front from Pier 14 at 14th Avenue North to the 2nd Avenue Pier at 2nd Avenue North. The Promenade officially opened in May 2010 at a cost of nearly $6.4 million. There's places to eat and drink all along the pier. There's also tons of shops and rides, like the Sky Wheel, which is a 187-foot tall observation wheel where you can take in the views of the coastline while riding in your own personal capsule with AC. Broadway at the beach, not on the beach at all, but a great place to take the kids. This is another great place with tons of restaurant shops and fun things to do. Ripley's Aquarium, Wonderworks, Top Golf, and much more. For the more adventurous, there's a smaller Ferris wheel and what looked really cool was beach ride jet boats, which is a roller coaster on the water. Huntington Beach State Park, with a lot of trails, beach area, and a fort to explore. This place is for the person wanting a little more laid back things to do. You can do a little bird watching. If you want to go explore the wetlands, kayaking is the way to go. You can rent a kayak and explore all you want. Even Bill enjoyed the views. We didn't do this, but we observed it. It's visitmerlsinlet.com. They have a children's pirate boat, and we could hear the kids screaming and laughing while we were kayaking. There was like this pirate that was trying to take over the boat, and they were shooting him with water, and the kids were having a blast. So if you have kids, this might be something to check out. If you love a unique experience, then go try paddle boarding on the ocean for sunrise. This was the ultimate way to catch the sunrise. You can go watch our video and it will tell you more. Since this is the putt-putt capital of the East Coast, you need to go check out one of the more than 50 courses in the area. Two of our favorite places that we ate at was Pier 14 that had a band and you could sit on the pier and enjoy drinks and good food. 
The other was Wall Burgers. While a little pricey, they did have some great burgers. Hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, like and subscribe.